Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this tutorial. It's your boy Sammy. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the difference on how to predict chart patterns. Now, this was one of the questions from one of our, our students on our academy that said uh, he was a bit confused about how to understand chart patterns. Now, the difference between um, continuation chart patterns and reversal chart pattern. That was actually a problem to me also when I began trading because I thought these chart patterns, they were all the same. Like, Whatever one you see, you should look for a way to buy or to sell. Now I'm going to be outlining the difference between the two of them. The difference between the chart pattern on um, continuation and also um, reversal chart patterns. So if you're with me in this video, stick with me to the end because it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a walk and it's going to be a step-by-step -step guide. Okay. And if you're also in need of uh, attention of any of the, of the chart patterns you have in companies, which you can just give attention to it by leaving a comment in the section below. But for now, let's get started. Also, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, if you've not done so, you've actually been watching and seeing value in this video. The only way you can support us is just give a thumbs up and just subscribe to the button and give a like there. So that way we'll be able to know that our viewers are enjoying the what the video of what we're doing, if it's been helpful to you also. Okay, so this video we're gonna be stopping starting from here um on how to identify and reversal chart patterns don't forget this is just a clear chart i'm going to be taking us onto the chart where we we'll look onto it and see how this thing works okay now this zone here as you can see we are seeing a double bottom you're going to be starting from continue and reversal chart patterns now let's look closely okay what we can see here is this market was actually bearish it was actually bearish So price actually came to this downside and what we're expecting is this what we saw was this so i think i've done this upside down yeah okay so what was what we saw price do was this let me take this all out the surprise come down here now this to tell us that this market was actually bearish now how do we mean the market was giving us a lower high and a lower lows in this zone here showing a bearish move but now there's something I need to identify first whenever there's a what uh, a market reversal pattern what you will identify here is an order block here now let me clearly draw this out so you get this point to show you that this is the first indication that this market wants to change what you'll be seeing was this this was the last order block before price actually came down now anything should make this price come back to this other block is a signal for us to understand that hey something is what happening now what was that we got price give us what the first leg here it went back to this zone here this other block here now this is what we refer to as a break of structure in this zone here so what we got next was that the price came back down now now take note of something the other thing you should be aware of is don't forget when we're saying in the market where we're having lower high and lower lows something like this lower highs and lower lows so let me this out okay let's say we're in a bearish market we're having stuff like this uh, stuff is not giving what i want okay let's just manage this lower highs and lower lows now don't forget what we said we said this is the last low don't forget but in this case here if you look closely these two zones are equal price did not break below this did not break below this it came back here and that shows that the sellers has failed to take or to push the market to the downside so we should be expecting a reversal now this zone here what we got was a reversal which shows that we should look for opportunity for look for aggressive entry here like i said in the last video pullback entry should be around somewhere here or some of the time breakout entry here some of the time break and pullback comes here okay there are some of the times the market does something like this and start going backwards to the upside okay now this is a pullback it also a breakout some of the times it pull back down here again and start going back it all depends now when let me tell you a secret why it pulls down back here let me think this is becoming too noisy some of the time why the market pull back here is because if there's an other block here there is always bound to be something like this before something like this 
Now, I always tell folks this. The best time you should be drawing your trend line is when you start seeing pullbacks. Now, I'll explain why. Don't forget I said it's a pullback here. This is a breakout. This is a pullback. And this is an aggressive entry. Okay? So, when something like this happens, you should be looking for potential entry to take price to the upside. Now, if you want to draw your trend line, this is where you should be drawing your trend line. Some of the time, the trend line touches the pull and the breakout. Some of the times, it touches the pullback. But it's always cool when it touches the breakout. This is how you draw your trend line after you have seen the what a pullback. For beginners, I advise you guys to always make sure you see a pullback before entry. Now, I someone was telling me something that I prefer breakout. I don't like breakout because the market is bound to come back here again in the future. Some of the times, it does something like this before going back. I prefer pullback. This zone, I can leave my SL here or below it or aggressive entry, whichever one that works fine for you. But pullback is always cool. That way you are safe to see what the market is doing rather than you putting your emotions in place when you come at that breakout zone. Now, this is actually restricted for this particular a particular um, chart pattern that I was talking about. Okay. Now, this is for a bearish market, a double bottom, a market that is, was bearish and is turning what bullish. Let's look for a case whereby the market was bullish but is turning what bearish. Okay, and that will be called the, the double top. I'm not going to be explaining all the uh, chart patterns here, but I just want you to listen closely to the major ones here. This is a double top. The market was bullish, giving us a higher high and a higher lows. Don't forget, this was the what, neckline. This structural level here was broken here by the market, and we got a pullback back down, and the market failed to go higher. Now, ordinarily, like we said, whenever a market is going up, it's supposed to be doing stuff like this. Come back down. If for any reason, then go back higher. Retrace back. And start going back up again. Don't forget, higher highs and higher lows. That's what we're supposed to be seeing in the market. That's what we're supposed to be seeing in the market. But what did we see here? We got to find out that this market failed to produce another high. It fails to produce another high. That is an indication that this market is actually what a signal for us to know that two things happen here. I tell uh, folks to always see a breakout structure first before thinking of reversals. And that was what we got. And now we got what? A resistance zone. Like the way beginners will call it. I see this as first stop and the second one. Now this shows that we should be what looking what forward to going bearish. Because the market has actually what? Changed character so we should be looking for what opportunity like we can see here this is a breakout but please this drawing that they gave you here as breakout don't ever enter here without seeing a what a confirmation candle showing that we should be going down it's always risky because if you place your trade here would you be putting your sl here that's too risky it is better of you wait for the market to do something like this something like this something like this yeah then you can enter here and put your stop loss somewhere here. That's cool. But rather than for you jumping in without seeing any confirmation, I told you that you will see two entries. Three. One, um, aggressive entry. Two, uh, pullback might happen somewhere here. But in this case, I told you the market doesn't give pullback in some cases. Pullback might happen somewhere here. But it didn't happen in this particular example that we're giving here. Then this is a breakout. So whichever one that works for you is what you're going to be worth sticking to. Okay, let's look at the last reversal candle pattern. Now, this is what a head and a shoulder pattern. Now, what is a head and a shoulder pattern? This shows the first move up. This market was bullish. The market retraces back. Now, don't forget, this is our structural level. Okay, now what happened? The market went back up. Okay, now the next thing we got down was a break of structure here. And the market retraces. Please, I always say this. After a break of structure, the market will come back to give you an opportunity to enter the market. Don't ever enter here as a break of structure. Immediately you see a break of structure, you're rushing in. Please, try and manage your what? Emotions. And make sure that you see a break of structure, a retracement back up, and you start going down. This, uh, Let me just say, this is one of my favorite chat patterns. Whenever I see it in the market, I'm always confident. Like, ah, yeah, I know there's an opportunity for me to uh, trade. That's some part chat, pattern, chat patterns that you see that you gain confidence from. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think another one is here. I didn't talk about this one. I made mention of it in my previous video, uh, the one I dropped about chart patterns. 
reversa market reversa chart patterns i said i was going to be talking about it so i'm going to be talking about it in this video in case you have not watched the first video where i mentioned it please i would advise you go back and watch check the video reversa chart patterns okay okay i think i'll be showing you guys in that chart you know what i dropped it I'll showing you guys in that chart okay now let's talk about the next one the next one is um the next one is um, continuation chart pattern. Now, we just talked about reversal chart patterns, right? The one that moves from a bullish, from a bullish market, a bullish market to a bearish market. Yeah. Double tops, they move from bullish to a bearish market. They were actually bullish, but all of a sudden, we saw the market start going what, to the downside. Yeah. They were bearish they actually turned bullish now there are some of the candles that are being formed in the market uh, chart patterns that are being formed in the market and when they are being formed it doesn't mean that we are going to be reversing it simply means that we're going to continue but just that we are taking the rest in a scenario whereby sellers are in charge of the market and you see a chart pattern it actually means that there's a continuation chart pattern now there's a continuation chart pattern shows that it's gotten from the word continue when somebody say pause, you are just paused, doing nothing. Then someone says continue. It means you should continue that act of what you were doing before, before you actually paused. So this concept is gotten from that. The market does not just fly and keep going down, 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 or gain up, up, up. No, it has some zone where to rest and gives opportunity to other traders that will miss the move. Now that zone where to rest and continues, it's moved to the downside or to the upside. It's called a continuation with chart pattern that is being formed. The market does not just move in isolation. It actually creates what pattern before it what continues is what it moves. Now let's look at some of the chart patterns here. Like what we are seeing here is flag. I can call it um channel. I call it channel most times. Uh this is a flag. Yeah, it's equally a channel, whichever way. Okay, this is it. Let's start with this. Let's start with this. This is a bullish market. Okay, we're going up. We're going up, 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 up. Now, all of a sudden, we started seeing some kind of funny moves to the downside. Now, could it mean that when I was new, I used to do something like enter here and start selling? This is a bullish flag. This let me just explain it from there. The bullish flag. I would just enter here and start selling. Yeah, I'll be in profit. All of a sudden, I would just see some kind of bullish candle. All of a sudden, I get stopped. Out. What's going on? Is it that this thing is not meant for me? No, it's not actually your fault. Uh, it's not actually the market's fault. It's your fault because you don't have pre-knowledge of what the market is doing. What the market is actually doing here is actually bias taking a rest. Don't forget, it's a bullish flag. It's just a retracement move here to the downside for us to keep going higher now while i was new i told you i used to sell for us if we are bullish we should stay bullish we shouldn't be looking for sales opportunity in the bullish market you'll get stopped out you can't make good money what you'll be making is um one time two times your risk and your risks yeah that's not cool i prefer three to five times my risk that's cool with me except you're a scalper so this was all we got I said before that the market does not just move in isolation it is actually forming a chart pattern or it's actually doing something that you need to be aware of ability to understand what the market is and be like oh yeah i, I remember when i i nearly understood this and um, um, flag pattern and can do um change pattern i was confident enough because i was like ah, uh, at least finally i know what they are doing uh, let me, i was just gonna relax i was just gonna relax because i know what they are doing not because I'm perfect, but because of what I have a knowledge about it. Okay, knowledge is key in this game, guys. Knowledge is key. So this is it. When we got here, we got a breakout. Some breakout entry guys entered here. Aggressive entry guys entered here. Um, pullback occurred here. Now what we should be thinking is they're going to be taking out these people that were selling here. That was people like me that were selling those days. Yeah, they'll be taking them out. Okay, and most of especially they might come back down here and start going yeah some of the time you see things like that happen but me i'm not trading this kind of stuff <laughs> because of my experience on it okay these are the bullish okay this is for the bullish market 
as you can see it is a flag so your how do we yeah let's go to the major topic how do we predict this i'll tell you whenever you see the market coming down like this always take note it is respecting the trend line see this trend line here the market was touching it this last one that the market touched should tell you that hey i think we are we are done then you, all of a sudden you see a breakout it does not just respect the downside it equally respects the upside which is an indication that a hey, these stops are being respected so we should be looking for opportunity to what right price to what to the upside so that's it for the bearish and the bullish and flag let's talk about the bearish now the market was bearish coming down now take note of it if the market is bullish the retracement move will be to the downside i'm just opening your eyes to see the stuff sorry if this market is bullish the retracement move will be to the downside if the market is bearish the retracement move will be to the upside why is it so they are doing this to trick out you guys that are beginners so that you can enter the market and sell that's why you need to understand what the higher time frame is saying this is just a trick to make you sell this is a trick to make you buy whilst the market is bullish okay so when you see stuff like this your duty is to wait draw your trend line mostly when you know that the market will be respecting these swing points that are touching the trend line your duty is to wait maybe you see a breakout and a retracement move here that's when you should be entering the market this zone here okay so that's it for the flag let's talk about the next one okay i would advise in case you have a question you want us to talk about anything chat related please just drop a comment in the section below or you wish to join our community that will be better off for you to what indicate you more on how to understand what the chat pattern is really what all about now this one is a pennant it's all it's all okay let me just say this it's all uh trend following concept how do i mean when you're trading with a train you are safe okay you are safe that's where you're bound to make money see this one is bullish the market is bullish you gotta see some stuff like this now this one take note whenever you see the market doing something like this please always follow your duty is to try and see how you can draw the trend line and see that they are touching the trend line okay the next thing you will see is a breakout and once you see that breakout it's an indication for you to know that hey i think we are about to turn back to our original trend don't forget we're going up and we started doing some stuff like this is an indication for us to understand that when there's a breakout there's bound to be a retracement please if you are in a trade and the market does not retrace back for you to enter as a beginner i advise you just stay away from the trade because price is going to be coming back to that zone okay so this is the pennant and it shows that we are got bullish as you can see so we got a breakout some folks like entry here but for me it doesn't work for me that way i prefer it coming back and if it doesn't come back to this zone for me to buy i leave it yeah that was that is my own trading condition as you see a confirmation showing that i'm entering that zone you don't expect me to enter a chart here now nah, price is going to be coming back now let me quickly say this this is one of the uh the stuff i learned earlier in um, forest trading is the market will always come to you your duty is to wait for it that patience is what is what needed now in the bearish scenario this is it the market was going it's a bearish market yeah so we started seeing some folks some moves so what we got was this we should be expecting a breakout retracement to the downside don't get okay let me say this don't rush into a what a candle that is being let's say a big candle you enter the market and you see opportunity don't work, rush into a big candle like that wait for it okay wait for it to definitely come back to you that's price for you that's why it's called price action okay i think i talked about this it's an ascending triangle and there are some i talked about the last one in my video i i've already talked about this one so there's no need for me to go back to it the one that i said uh ascending channel and descending channel this is just the triangle pattern it's the same thing it's the same thing guys don't get confused provided you are with the chart whatever thing the market forms for you 
your duty is to what identify it is a rising lower trend flat upper trend ascending triangle it's cool you are bullish don't forget you're saying here yeah, uptrend so all this move here is just to take us to the what to the upturn. so now if you're ready let's jump into the chart and see what the market really what it's doing okay so we're here so let's check uh i think um gbp jpy did something like that recently let's go to the one uh Okay, this is it like this is a little bit advanced, so I'll just explain it in the beginner's way. I think I dropped this in our uh, uh, community on our telegram, so I dropped something like that. So, as you can see, price has been respecting these major zones. This breakout that you saw here was the first indication that hey, we are about to what, go bearish. But I need to get the big picture of what price is doing. Okay. Price is actually what respecting the zones. Yeah. So there's a we got a breakout and price came back to the what? Into the channel. This is a descending channel. But don't forget what this is, guys. What I'm trying to say is our price is about to reverse to the upside, okay? This market is bullish. It's actually what bullish. Let's check all the USD. I think all the USD did something like that. Also, Okay, I think let's check the for us. In case I didn't point this out, please. What may be asking, please? Um, um, which of the time frame forms this chart pattern? The answer is all of them. Now, take note. If it's a daily time frame that is forming this chart pattern, it would take one day for each of these candles to be formed, or each of these candles to be printed. If it's a four hours, it will take four hours for each of these candles to be printed. Wow, let's take a clear example of this. It's an ascending channel. Okay. You can see the market has been expecting major pain points. Market has been expecting major swing point in this zone here. So what we can see is that market went up and we started dropping what to the downside, back to the downside before the retracement move that went led to the what moved to the upside but what we need to take from this the major reason why we are here in this chart is because of this chart pattern that occurred now someone might be here and say uh, i think it's time for me to start buying i think it's time for me to start buying here because i'm seeing that this market is going up because of the candles are big don't get freaked out. This market is actually on a retracement move. All of this is just to get okay. Now let me explain this. I was in this room and I entered the market here. I entered here. I entered the market here. Let me take this out. Zone here, okay. Now, when the market came down here, came down here, I actually left the trade. Or I left earlier. I left here. This other block here. Okay, that was where I left the trade. 
Now, when I saw this move back, I knew it was something. Now, let me tell you what it was. I knew it was a retracement move. A retracement move back to this zone here. Of the replacement move back to this zone here. Why am I saying this one? Look very well. You will see there's an order block here. Let me show it to you. Or two. Okay. See? This was an order block here. So when this market retraced, it was coming back to this order block before dropping down. Before what? Dropping down. Take note of this. All of this is the market trade just to make you get involved and feel like we are going up if you feel like you are going up but it's not happening that way it is just to trick you out okay. here's another one so can you see that it takes four hours for each of these candles to be formed this height move whatever we all of these are continuation with chart patterns. This is the major reason why I wanted to drop this video. I've talked about reversal chart pattern. This one is reversal chart pattern. It's a double top. It's a double top. And as you can see, the market started coming to the world downside. So expecting this trend line. Now, I talked about trend line as a major cause of this video. Please, if you have not watched the video, I talked about trend line trading strategy. So advice. You just check it out, okay? That will be all for now, guys. See you.